but we're all good. And they can't ambush us in any way, shape, or form. They've got a sure shot and a sure shot. Oh, bloody hell. Can't actually fire that yet. Uh, can't fire that yet either. Okay, get that hole fixed. Come on. Ah! They're repairing too quickly. This is annoying. Come on! Bloody hell. Okay, get back to there, get back to there. Get back to there. Now, can we shoot? Oh my god, still not yet. Okay, I definitely need that navigator. Because we are not getting the shots we need. There we go. Now we've got it. Okay, pause, pause, pause. You go there, you fire there, you fire there, there we go, now we're good. We can get the hooks into them. Get that last guy that's on our ship. Come on. Get him. Ah, oh, you're kidding. Come on. Get rid of him. There we go. <laughs> Holy Jesus. Okay. Well worth it, I would agree. Now, where would this port be? Let's slow down the progression. Okay. They don't mind coming towards us. They've got a flamethrower and... Oh, two lots of flamethrowers. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. Uh, thank you, Melted DCD, for the follow. I basically want to stop them firing. That would be the best option. Uh, a Halifron is coming over by the looks of it. That's fine, he can take care of that. 
Ah, they're getting away though. Because of that. Okay, ram, brace, war. Uh, harpoons in. This in. You guys attack. Attack, attack, attack. Oh, Jesus. Everyone else, get him. There we go. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. We've got ample amounts of food now. Some more gold. Exactly what we need to get that ship upgrade. And... Not quite able to afford what we want to afford yet. Let's get them. No way we're letting them get away. What have they got? They've got a hull cracker and a sure shot. Okay, so that's fine. I'd prefer what I've got at close range. Oh, whoops. Okay. Oh, hold on. Fire! Wait on, wait on. We don't want to go there yet. Let's wait until we can ram. Okay, fire that there, get that in there, and now ram. Okay. You three, get over there. You two, get on to him. Okay, come on. Get rid of them. What are you doing over there? Get back. Get them. Oh, shoot. Jump. Ah! Yep, okay. We're good. Oh, he's gone down. Oh, shivers. I didn't realize he was going down. That's bad. There's a port, so we're safe if the timer runs up on the cultists catching us. Uh, let's go closer and have a look. It is a trap, but we're fine with a the trap. They want to get away from us. Why would you trap us with a lobber and a flaming cannon? at that distance. You are absolute idiots. You are? What's that? That's the chain shot. Okay, that's fine. I don't care about that. Fires! Deal with the fires! <laughs> they don't have any time to get us off.
Okay, nice. This is going perfectly. Some more flames. Get rid of him. Block off his escape route. Now, attack. Oh, that went really well. Really bad um, ambush there, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's only give a little bit of food. Oh. Damn it, I should have given the whole amount, even if we lost some morale. Okay, so if you only give a little bit, you don't get any gold or um, happiness out of it. Some food, nice. Uh, you wonder, you wonder how long the castaway has seen you and been desperately leaving, but was invisible in the vast expanse of ocean that surrounds you. You're close to him now, but as you pull closer, you see some. Surprising. He's a cultist. Okay. Okay, so don't do that in the future. Ah. Oh. Sure. Oh. Well, that was bad. Don't save cultists. <laughs> That's the moral of that story. Um, there's crew members in it. Oh no, okay, there isn't anybody in it. I thought it said there was things in it. Oh no, our crew members standing around tentatively looking. Smoke yet hangs in the air near the larger pieces of scorched debris. Awesome, we got some gold out of it. That's nice. Um, don't have much further to find stuff on this map. And we'll probably be able to save ourselves from the Kraken. A vessel bearing pirate insignias is fast closing down on another ship. Let's... Um... For a price. Okay, cool. How is the Kraken not attacking me yet? That's surprising. Got a thousand gold now. I may as well go for the 1500. Come on, Kraken. So, oh, I can't get to there. Damn it. But I couldn't have gotten down here from there either. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to go up, aren't I? Here we go. What's coming after us? Halifron. Let's get rid of them. Okay, we could get another double shot. So, yeah, let's get rid of the sure shot on that side. We'll leave the round shot. I'm going to make both sides. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Flamethrower. Let's get a flamer. Moderate chance of causing fires. 
Okay. Yep. Let's repair. Oh, that got rid of a lot of my <laughs> upgrades. Annoyingly. Okay, now let's head up. Because we are trying to get to the Devil Rock. Okay. Here we go. Into Devil Rock waters. What is it going to be like? I'm thinking it's going to be fairly rough, <laughs> considering... Yeah, rough waters and cloudy. Okay, so there's only one way out of here. Ah, but we're free to explore as we like, that's nice. No cultists in this area. That's interesting that there's no cultists in this area. I would have thought a place that people don't go, cultists may have an... I guess if people don't go there, the cultists don't really care about it. It's definitely cold and stormy. There's ice and snow on all the peaks, which is a nice little change in the biome. It's cool how they have different biomes. Makes the map look interesting and new. Mm. Go, some gold. We still haven't found the island. I'm guessing it's going to be in the very center of this area. Yep, there we go. That looks foreboding. Oh my god. Look at the big chunk taken out of the island. They weren't kidding about all the minerals on there being um, very volatile to water. They sure weren't kidding. Okay, whole map explored. Let's go have a look. After mooring up on the docks, you give permission for the crew to commence shore leave. What business will you attend to? Uh, let's first see what they've got. They've got a sniper, a tackler, a hull cracker, and a lobber. Heavy spikes, heavy armor, a lifeboat, water pumps. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll save up for the biggest ship. I'll just keep saving until I get up to 2,000. That'll be good. Okay, so... My navigation has gone up, which is nice. Um, their gunning is going up slowly. Uh, yeah, we probably don't need anybody. I'll save my money. Let's explore the town then, shall we? The port town is ramshackle and sparse. Many houses lying empty. You find a sorry looking trading shack and the proprietor mutters directions to someone who apparently is capable of helping. As you approach your supposed destination, a pair of fil filthy street urchins lob a chunk of dull stone into a puddle next to you. Oh god. The water steams for a split second before exploding, soaking your breeches. That would be insane in the rain. 
The children flee, shrieking with laughter, but you can't help and you can't help but be impressed by their small demonstration. You arrive at a hut that stands apart from the others, with strange symbols painted over the door. This is the place. The door is yanked open by an older man with a beard oiled into multiple points at consistent angles. His face is a mess of many small scars, and one of his eyes is glass, painted with a crude iris. E. Okay. You've seen some salty sea dogs in your time, but this guy takes the biscuit. He clearly isn't one for formalities, so you can come right out with it. You're in business. You're in the business of hunting exotic sea fauna and need a tactical edge. You attempt to flatter him by explaining that Devil's Rock's recent infamy and his reputation led you here. He sets off on accounts of his glory days spent fishing and exploring using Devil Rock. They would seal nuggets of the dark rock in oiled spherical containers packed with sand. Then it was just a matter of finding a shoal and dropping it overboard, where once deep enough, the pressure would force water in and set off the reaction. Jesus. That is good. He mimes a huge vertical torrent of water. We considered it good luck, he winks, if a fish chunk landed on your head. Oh my god. You make a quick calculation about how much devil rock would be needed to surface something as big as the Kraken, and quickly resolve it would take out half of your ship at the same time. <laughs> Hardly ideal. Did you ever experiment with launch methods like firing it from a mortar? <laughs> the man looks blankly at you for a second before a large smile creases up his gnarled features. I like your style, he proclaims. But no, we never needed to. He rummages around in his pockets and produ produces a small pebble. He places it on a platter atop a large chest, grabs a nearby candle and passes the flame slowly back and forth over the stone. Instinctively you flinch and make to cover your eyes but he just grins again. Friction or heat do nothing, only water. That would be a crazy substance. We'll need to do some tests but thank you. The man's eyes... The man's eye has lit up. He is desperate to be a part of this experiment and volunteers some supplies from the good old days. His only request is that you can, that he can accompany you, accompany you for the test. You agree, but we'll have a lot of explaining to the crew to do before they're happy with you bringing a soluble high explosive on board. <laughs> that would not be good on a ship considering water comes over the top quite often in rough seas. Let's find a secluded spot for our little test. You need to test that it can be launched safely from your mortar to act like a depth charge. When it's ready, aim at an area of sea to launch the devil rock round. Whoa! That is nice. Your guest dances a little jig, ecstatic at the, at the successful test. This just might work. Back to port to collect more Devil Rock supplies. Okay. En route, your guest siddles up to you. The amount of Devil Rock you plan to fire, you're not just a f after a few hauls or a trophy, are you? You hesitate, but figure the knowledge won't hurt him. If he even believes you. No. No, we hunt a kraken, and it hunts us. After a pregnant pause, he replies, I've lived through many seasons, most of them spent at sea. I have seen things men would mock me to hear tell. Another lengthy pause, I believe you. And were I a few score seasons younger, I'd join you to see for myself. As you adjust the wheel, your sleeve rides up, revealing the edge of your cult tattoos. He does a good job of pretending not to notice, but you sail the rest of the way into port in silence. You mull over your next steps. You need a place to make a stand, as it were. Back in port, you make preparations for your departure. Balan is ebullient and helpful, carefully measuring and packing out enough devil rock to take care of a dozen kraken. Wow. He shows you a Sophia container wrapped in an extra layer of oily bandage. This will help keep it safe in bad weather, but should slip off easily underwater. 
Ah. Be no fun if the damn things went off in your hands or hold, would it? <laughs> Jesus, no it wouldn't. You have a little time left until your crew have readied themselves. How do you spend it? Let's explore the port. The port beckons, a place where you and your crew can recuperate before setting back out onto the sea. Um, yeah, there wasn't anything we needed here, was there? Nope. Um, we may... Having someone that can repair the ship is kind of helpful. So I think we're probably good with the captain steering the ship. Visit the local shops. Let's sail back to sea. You and your crew and a heavy and a ship heavy with Devil Rock are finally ready to depart. Balan is about to disembark. As you stop him to ask a final favor, we need somewhere to corner the Kraken if we want these things to hit. Head to Pullman's Cove, Balan replies, tapping his grizzled nose with a finger. Here, I'll mark it on your chart. It's a horseshoe bay with some deadly undercurrents. Many a whale and ship have run afoul of that little place. If you don't panic, you can ride a swell back out, but at the right tide, not even a kraken would be able to escape. Told us to enter Pullman's Cove, a bay, bay where the tide can hold a kraken back. He nods solemnly as you do so. I know this has something to do with that damned cult. You're clearly connected somehow, but I hardly think you're on the same side. That's your, that's your business. All I know is they're trouble, and they smell weird. They smell weird. Strike them and their little pet a blow, and make damn sure you come back and tell me how it went. Cool. Okay, we have to head up there. There is supposedly a quest here too. <clears throat> oh, nice. Okay. Yep. Let's complete off all the things in this region. Oh, it looks like the Kraken have now started to come into this area. That's not good. Okay, well that didn't help. So I'll go up and then around. Because <clears throat> we do want to get as many, as much gold as we possibly can. Nope. <clears throat> okay, now the uh, cultists are coming for us in this area. Damn it. Decomposed head. Couldn't it have been gold? You moved in seven. A number of a number of the other crew begin frantically waving. Bring us into parlay range. Your ships draw close. We carry gunpowder stores. One shot could see us both obliterated. Oh god. You order your crew to sail onwards. Ah. Oh. Well, that's not good. Vessel bearing pirate insignias and fasting closing. Mind your own affairs and be rewarded for it. Let's cut between them. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, damn it. The vermin took our supplies again. Damn you, bloody vermin. Okay. Your crew are in position. If it's a fight they want, it's a fight they'll get. 
Okay, hold on, what do they have? A flaming cannon and a flamethrower. Okay. That could very well be an issue. Let's get you down on that one, because they're not going to run away from me. So if I can get fire down, that would be very nice. Okay. Shoot them there. Ha! Oh, perfect. He's gonna die too. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, fire's really not spreading quick enough for my liking. Okay, let's get you to go over there and finish him off. There we go. Okay, all done. Nice, that was an easy way of uh, taking that ship over. Now run, 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 back to port. So the Kraken doesn't find us. Because it's bloody well coming. Yep, there we go. Helifron, there we go, Helifron are gone. Now where was that last thing? Down the bottom there. Okay. Down this way. Okay. The approaching ship wasn't responding to signals. At the last moment they perform a sharp turn. We're attacked from the other side in this battle. Uh-oh. Okay, what have I got? I've got a flamer and a... round shot. Okay, how many have they got? They... I've got a double shot and a section damage. Okay, we need to get in close and quick. So, we don't have any flaming, so let's jump over. Almost got him. Come on, get him. There we go. Okay, we're all good. Nice. 46 gold. Perfect. Now we can get out of here. That was the last thing, wasn't it? Yep, nothing left here, so let's get out. Okay, I want to go up 
hopefully we can come back down again after this. Ooh, it's a polar icy area. The Arctic. Ooh, okay. There's no ports here and two gates. Oh, there's no ports. Well, that's not good. No ports at all. Okay, we're going to have to fight some sort of ship or something in this area. Uh, intervene and help them. Oh, okay. They just scrambled onto our deck and nothing else. I see trails appear in the water, moving directly towards your ship. It's Halifron. Halifron! Oh god, okay. Um, get you three over there. Get you over here. And you over there. Oh! Bloody hell! Okay, we're good. Nice. Halifron did not take us down. I wonder if you can get more people on the bigger ships. That would be good. Some gold, another ship. Uh, they refuse to acknowledge signals but don't appear ready to commit to violence. Okay, they actually have committed to violence. What have they got? They've got round shots. Don't know why they're coming so close then. Very, very silly of them. We go. Let's get that to fire there and this to fire there. Come on. Lamo. Didn't quite get that. Ammo, more fire, more fire. They don't know what to do. They're absolutely screwed. <laughs> okay, get him. Game over. There we go. Nice. Okay. Damn it. A cult ship is chasing me. No! Ugh. Two, four, six, eight. What do they have? They've got a double shot and a flamethrower. Uh-oh. They've got exactly the same as what I've got. So, I think we're better off getting rid of the flamethrower. There 
There we go. That's what we want. My captain's taking some damage. Get off. Get him! Oh, shoot! Captain Rat! Okay, quick, quick, quick! There we go, got him! Okay, nice. He's down. There is no time to collect salvage. Must leave quickly. Okay. Let's try find a way to get out of this area. Let's just finish off this area and then we'll end it there. Okay, we've been attacked from the other side, so we need to make every shot count. Let's get you over there, you there, you there, you there. What have they got? They've got a hull cracker and a round shot. Uh oh. And they've got a ship smasher. Jesus. Need to get them off those very quickly. We're within range. Nice. Launch, pull us in. Okay, everybody! Oh, except you. Get that repairing. Get on board! Well, at least they can't escape now. There we go. All good. Taken out. Nice and easy. Okay, our gold is building up. We're slowly going to get up to 2,000. Oh, hold on. You spot a grizzly group of hunters tracking walrus. Uh, they pick off the stragglers and then immediately begin skinning them. It's gruesome work, but not much else will keep them alive out here and they're always willing to trade. Even further south, there is always demand for walrus skin. No reason we can't turn a profit. Yeah. Let's turn a profit. There we go. We've got plenty of food. So we don't need to worry about... Nope. We're good. Is that the last of the map? No, we still have a little bit of the map to go. Okay. Didn't realise that. I was trying to time it that I'd come into the gate last, but that wasn't the case. Okay, we saved someone and he gives us jewellery. Oh no, he's long gone. Oh, damn it. He was dead. Oh well, he's not going to be using the jewellery, I guess. Huh. 
I still can't get over how diverse these biomes are. Okay, let's go out this way then, shall we? And I think we'll end this here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye!